All right, well, there's no doubt about it. Pinterest is wildly popular. The social media platform was made the word, has made the word pinning an everyday word, especially when it comes to food. And to date, there are now more than 915 million recipes on Pinterest. That's right, you've either had a fail or you've made one that worked. <laughs> Today, we're going to tell you how you can have input on the first ever Pinterest cookbook. Stephanie Azard is Bravo's top chef winner, and she's here to tell us more about this new project. Good morning to you, Stephanie. Good morning, how are you? I'm doing great. I feel like this task is so huge. Where do you even start trying to make a, a cookbook from Pinterest? Yeah, I think what I'm lucky is that the fans are going to get to help me with inspiration for the recipes. There are so many recipes on Pinterest, and I think it's great just to flip through and get inspiration. But I'm working with Lay's Wavy to create an actual cookbook that people can go to and get a whole bunch of recipes, and they can help me pick which inspirations to take for the recipes, which is a lot of fun. Okay, so I, that's something that you really like, too, is, is creating dishes with texture and unique tastes and things like that. So, um, so every recipe in this cookbook, will it have a, a potato chip in it? Is that the rule? Yeah, I mean, I think the texture that you get from Lay's Wavy, as well as the different flavors, because there's new flavors that have come out. The cheddar, which I made some recipes for today, uh, the ranch, the hickory barbecue. So you can take those chips, put them into a recipe, get all the flavor and texture from the chips, and kind of add a little spunk, I think, to some unexpected flavor combinations. All right, so break down the dish you made for us today, and will that one be in the cookbook? Yes, this one will be in the cookbook. This is inspired by apple pie when you have a little bit of cheddar in the crust. I made a simple topping that we use on apple pancakes, on ice cream, on cupcakes or muffins to uh, yogurt cups. It's got a little bit of oats, a little bit of sweetness, and then a nice savory and unexpected flavor of the cheddar ways, Lay's wavy in it. Mm, that looks really good. So lots good. of crunch and... Uh, yeah, with the apple pancakes, they're a little bit sweet, and you get the spice from the apple, and then you take the crumble topping, and that little bit of cheddar really brings out a nice savory note that gets your mouth all excited. Where do you usually find all your creative inspiration? Because I think as a chef, you know, especially one like yourself, you always have to come up with new things, and sometimes I feel like, can you reinvent food all the time? Yeah, I don't think it's about reinventing. It's maybe taking some ideas that are out there or things that people have done in different countries or um, taking some local ingredients that are coming up. As spring's coming up, it's looking towards asparagus and blueberries and things like that. And just kind of adding your own spin with some fun textures and some maybe a little bit of spices that are unexpected. Um, just having fun with it. How do people help you with this cookbook? Because a lot of people have their own favorite recipes from Pinterest. Yeah, you just go to Pinterest.com backslash uh, Lay's Wavy, and you can pin your favorite flavor combinations that are up there. There's deviled eggs, donuts, grits, sushi, um, ice cream, a uh, little bit of hot chocolate, and they're all paired up with a different one of the Lay's Wavy flavors. So you pick which one sounds either the best to you or maybe it sounds like the one that's going to stump me the most in making recipes, and then I'm going to use those as inspiration for this first cookbook. And how many, how many recipes do you think are going to be in the final product of the cookbook? The first 20 are going to come out in May, and then another 20 in the fall. So for this year, we'll have 40 recipes up. So we'll have more chances to fail, right? <laughs> have you ever seen all those, like, Pinterest right? fails when you're trying to make some of these recipes? Yes. <laughs> but that's even such great inspiration. See what somebody failed with, and then it gives you uh, reason to get in the kitchen and give it a try yourself, right? I love it. So how can people uh, get the cookbook once it's available? It'll be right there on Pinterest at Lay's Wavy's um, site. Perfect. Thanks so much for joining us here on The Morning Blend, Stephanie. Thank you. Have a good one. Absolutely. You too.